Hello Autodesk people. My name is Jay Ayala of Autodesk. I am an engineering technical specialist based out of the Pacific Northwest. And the video you are about to see is AutoCademy P 2009 Drawing Compare Module. So here we have AutoCademy P 2009 and in the Windows pull down menu you will notice that we have Drawing Compare Palette. Now if this is the first time you've ever tried this you'll get the resulting dialog box. Now I'm not going to read it to you. If you want to you can pause the video and read it for yourself. But essentially what this says is that Drawing Compare module is a subscription is exclusive as a subscription benefit for those of you on AutoCAD MEP and AutoCAD architecture. So in order to get the the tool to work you'll have to go to Autodesk's subscription page. You'll have to download it and you'll have to install it. So let me walk you through that process. First of all, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to launch the Autodesk homepage. Now, you might want to have a couple of things handy here. You'll want your subscription ID login and your password. Uh, if you do not have that, I would suggest to contact your CAD manager or your IT manager. Now, here at the bottom right, we have a subscription member login link, and this will take you directly to this, the, the login page. Simply type that information in and you'll be at the uh, Autodesk subscription homepage. Okay, so now that we're here, there's a lot to navigate, but let me just make this very simple for you. Um, there's a, in the navigation pane on the left, there's a product download. Um, go ahead and click on that and it'll take you to AutoCAD Architecture 2009 Drawing Compare Module. Now I realize that it's AutoCAD Architecture, but this works for AutoCAD MEP as well. Be very careful what you choose to download here. You have two versions, the 32-bit the and the 64-bit. Uh, download the appropriate version for your hardware setup, and uh, mine happens to be 32-bit English. I would also encourage you highly to uh, download the README, direct, the README files and uh, review those as well. Now, the reason I'm downloading this and showing this to you is that this is real time. It's a very small file, less than 7, gig, uh, seven megabytes. So uh, it, it'll take you about 15 seconds to download and complete. And the additional piece why I'm installing this and the reason I'm showing you why I'm installing this is it literally takes less than 10 seconds to go through the installation process. It'll automatically detect what software you have, whether it's AutoCAD MEP or AutoCAD Architecture. The benefit is downloading and installing takes less than a minute and then you have all the functionality of drawing compare module. So let's explore Drawing Compare module. Let's go back to the Windows pull down menu and launch this Drawing Compare palette. So this is what the palette looks like. I'm going to explain the portions of the palette and how we use this. But first, Drawing Compare works very basically. Um, you have a project directory, which is I guess on your network somewhere where all your project files are. And then you'll be getting correspondence and updated files from maybe an email from an architect or something like that. What you'll do is you'll place that in a review folder, uh, preferably within your own network setup along the same project. Now if your system is anything like mine, it's going to be buried within folders and folders. So uh, bear with me here while I find my review folder. This is the process that you'll, you'll do. You'll only ever have to define your review folder. If you want to, you can, you can define your other project folders as well. But this dialog box here, it's asking me if we would automatically like to match and analyze the drawings. What this does is notice when I select in my review folder floor 2. Notice what happens to my project down below. Okay, so I get this little reaction of, it's very subtle, little green arrows, so I made them really big so you can see them. It's asking, do you want these two to be compared? Yes, I do. So uh, I'll just go ahead and execute the drawing comparison. What it's doing here is it's opening both versions of the drawings and comparing all 9,284 objects against themselves. And the result is a color-coded version of the comparison. And, uh, well, let's take a look at what those colors are significant of. Here I can see that new objects are green missing objects are red and modified objects are yellow. Now I can change these colors and I'll show you how to do that later. 
But looking at this palette a little closely, we also have an object report list. It tells me here how many types of objects have been compared or how many differences there were between the comparison. So I've got some blocks, I've got some doors, walls, and windows that have been changed. Now just below that I also have a, an object list summary. It's telling me how many changes have happened since the review folder, the review drawing, and the, the project drawing have been compared. We also have this drawing compare mo um, toolbar. It's a temporary toolbar that pops up. And the few tools here, we can end it, we can print it, we can use the selection buttons on this toolbar to select the objects that have changed. We can also have just a, a regular selection so I can go and pick the object. Now this one, this one's interesting. This is an active zoom tool. And when you have that button depressed, you can go to your palette and select the object and notice how the screen automatically zooms and finds that object. So if you think about a drawing comparison, sometimes hundreds of objects change and finding them could be a challenge. So if you simply cycle through the, the objects in the palette um, with the zoom tool, it'll find them for you. Now there's something up with this door. Uh, I think it's really difficult to see this yellow color. So if you want to, you can change these colors by simply activating the properties tool and, uh, and defining whatever color you want. So now all my modified objects are magenta and I can see them very easily. So in addition to this, we also have the object properties, so I can tell exactly what's changed. And here I can see that the anchor of this door has changed. Now it looks like the Y anchor has changed um, from my object drawing to my review drawing. So it looks like the architects might have mirrored the door or something like that. Now I can also use the tool to select my next change, my next modification. and. Um, well, this is interesting. Here's a chair. It looks like a chair, a piece of furniture. And uh, let's take a look at what might have changed. So first of all, let's see what, what kind of object this is. Now, it looks like this is a block. And uh, the, the, what's changed, oh, here's, this is interesting. Look at this. Their attribute has changed. So it, where it used to cost $250, it now costs $225. I'm assuming the value is the price of that, that attribute. Now, does the price, is that going to affect my MEP? design? I don't think so, but uh, it's nice to know that Drawing Compare gets into that level of granularity. Now this might be a little more significant. Let's check this out. Here I can see that the architects have made some sort of change to the, the doors. It looks like they added and deleted a door. They probably just relocated where it was. Now for an electrical engineer, if I'm laying out my outlets and switches and let's say it's close to submitting my project, and I didn't notice this store changed, maybe I have some outlets and switches in wrong places. So now with Draw and Compare, I can take a look at what is going to affect my design, and I can start to anticipate those changes a lot earlier in the project, overall resulting in better quality drawings. Now I think to myself, what are the most likely uses for Draw and Compare? Primarily, I see this as being able to check consultants' drawings and seeing what's changed. And secondarily, I think maybe you can go from week to week and check your own drawings, see what's changed within your drawings. So four things to remember about Drawing Compare Module. Drawing Compare Module is exclusively available for customers who purchase AutoCAD Architecture or AutoCAD MEP with subscription service. Simply download the module from the subscription center and install it. It will automatically identify if you have AutoCAD Architecture or AutoCAD MEP or both. Drawing Compare will check any versions of DWG files even if they came from an earlier version of AutoCAD, like perhaps AutoCAD R14. Drawing Compare module will not modify or change your existing project drawings. It's simply a visual comparison between your current project drawings and your revised drawings. On behalf of Autodesk, my name is Jay Ayala and the video you just saw is AutoCAD MEP 2009 Drawing Compare Module.